This is a Missy Elliott exclusive. Hey, Missy. Hey. How are you? <laughs> I'm good, and yourself? Really, really good. Thank you so much for talking to us today. What a treat. Ah, oh, thank you. Thank you for having me. It feels it's- so good to have you back. Oh, man, thank you. It's always good to be here. Always. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about what keeps you hungry in 2017. Oh, man. I mean, I dreamed of being an artist, doing music, and that's all I know. (laughs) You know, I, I have such a passion for music. I have a passion for doing videos, and even, you know, when... The world don't see me, I'm still doing it. Because I just, I don't even know how to take vacations. Like, when I <laughs> I go on vacations and my friends is having fun, I'm like, I gotta get back. And they're like, oh my goodness, you're so lame with that. Like, why you come out here and then want to get back and work? That's all I know is music, music, music. Work it. I need a glass of water. Talk to me a little bit about the themes of empowerment in your work. They still ring out so vividly. I don't know. I just do what I do. (laughs) And I never really put much thought into it. You know, my grandmother always told me to be fearless. And I guess that's it. I really don't know. Tell me a little bit about the writing process for you, Missy. Do you need a place of solitude, a place of peace, or are you just constantly sketching ideas all the time? Oh, I most definitely need a place of peace. <laughs> I have a studio in, well, I have a few houses, and I have studios in each one of my houses. And that's where I create. And, um, you know, I have uh, producers, and, so, you know, I'm involved in all of that. And I just kind of... I don't sit in, you know, maybe I'll get some ideas from somewhere, whether it's me. Most of the time is me watching my homegirls go through something or something around that I see. And then I'll get back, and it's the music that tells me what to write. I'll listen to a beat and it may sound sexy, make me want to write something sexy. It may be a beat that feels big and inspiring and and, and make me want to um, write something conscious. Ooh, I don't want, I don't need, I can't stand no man and man. I don't want no man and man. Beat that make me want to feel like I'm on a block in a cipher or something. But a lot of people have asked me what comes first. I think it's the music. I have to hear the music first, and then that kind of dictates where I go with the song. The visual element is such an integral part of your work as well, isn't it? I'm just wondering, do you think in a visual language as, as well as a musical language when you're creating? Oh, visual is... Uh, big for me and it's big for me because I I was that kid that ran home to watch Michael Jackson videos <laughs> like I had to see what Michael was going to do if that meant today I'm going to play like I don't feel good so I can make sure I don't the bus is not late or anything for this world premiere video I like for people to see the visual, the art of it. I remember doing The Rain, my first record, and just thinking it was so different. That visual became the puzzle to that record. Because even if you don't get it, a lot of times when you see a great video, it allows a person to understand how you move on it, or they find themselves now is just stuck in their head and they remembering certain parts of the record when they hear it 
because they have watched the the visual. Visuals are are important. They, videos is going to always be important to me, even though you know over here we don't have outlets like we used to to be able to take our video up to the station and introduce it like that. So I don't know how much the kids really embrace a great, great video, but hopefully, you know, that'll change. Missy, you've sold 20 million records worldwide, which means you're part of the narrative of 20 million lives. You're in 20 million homes, 20 million hearts. Do you think about that? Oh, all the time. I, you know, it's funny because I go to the grocery store by myself. I go to the mall by myself. And, you know, people be like, what are you doing here by yourself? You don't have security. You don't. They kind of remind me of that. I, you know, for me, that's the only time that I really think, like, wow, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot <laughs> who I was because I'm just, in the grocery store, the T-shirt, sweatpants, just regular, you know, not in the Missy stage outfit. And then somebody, you know, comes up or the cash register lady, you know, she's bagging something and she just take a look and like, oh, my God, <laughs> Missy Elliott, like, <laughs> I love you. You don't understand. Like, I dance all your stuff. And so that's the time that I it, it registered, like, wow, you know, I, I forgot that I've reached so many people. So listen, two singles in the last 14 months. Can we hope for a new album at some point soon? Yeah. Uh, I'm scared. <laughs> Come well, listen, on. I, I, I'm, I have a lot of music. Let me say that. I have a lot of music. And I, I've been scared to say album because I said my fans would stone me if I didn't drop it. And so I I want to surprise them. Like, that's fun to me because God knows, you know, I've watched artists say dates and their fans go crazy on them. When that date come <laughs> and that time hit, it is not on no blogs nowhere. Oh, I've watched their fans lose it. So, so I like I like the element of surprise. Well, listen, thank you so much for being with us on BBC Radio Six Music today. It's such a treat. Ah, oh, thank you, thank y'all for having me. I appreciate you. It's wonderful to talk to you. Ah, uh, good talking to you too. Bye, bye, baby. Get to 